I must say, it's such an honor and pleasure to be here, but the best part is to get to meet and to see you all today. How are you all doing? Good. Fantastic. Has this new year gotten off to a good start? Yes. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. It is true that I was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. And to be very honest with all of you, it was a challenge because while growing up, I've been bullied, I've been teased, and I've been called bad names too. Even some very good friends of mine who also have autism went through the same thing. So during those times, it was a challenge and it did hurt a lot. However, out of all of those challenges and all of those experiences, the idea and the inspiration to create the Imagi Friends of Imagiville came. The Imagi Friends themselves are a huge family of loving, caring, and silly friends based on very special lessons and based on a lot of things that young children and their friends and their families love and enjoy. The lessons they teach are friendship, kindness, determination, believe in yourself, dream big, big, big dreams do come true, and acceptance, because it's very important to accept others for who they are and not what they look like. It's the inside of everybody that matters the most. Do you agree? Yes. Now that you're talking, give yourself a high five. That's awesome. Yes. However, though, the list of lessons goes on and on, actually. But the Imagine Friends are for all ages. And in Imagineville, where they live, everybody is welcome and accepted as they are and for who they are, especially all with autism of all ages. The Imagine Friends were born October 19, 2001, along with their very first website. And I'm happy to say that just like Pepsi Cola, the Imagine Friends were born here in the Carolinas. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we established and began our mission and company with the Imagine Friends on July 16, 2011, where we started traveling and visiting many others to tell them all about the mission. The mission is five major important things. One, to spread autism acceptance and autism inclusion everywhere around the world. Two, to help the world to know once and for all that autism is to be known, to be understood, and not to be judged or to be criticized in any bad way. Number three, that with the power of teamwork, we can all work together to put a complete and total stop to bullying, not with anger, not with violence, but by taking a great right stand and to help others to understand how much bullying hurts and why it's important for it to stop. Number four, if we all combine our gifts and talents together, we can build stronger, powerful communities and help prove that big, big dreams can and do come true and that big, big dreams are a great reality. Just like Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And number five, to spread the power and the importance of kindness everywhere. When we spread kindness everywhere, it can make a huge impact on others' lives in so many ways that you can ever imagine. And I know sometimes there are some people who aren't very nice, but we don't know what they've been through. We don't know what others are going through. And we don't know how their lives have been. But one small act of kindness 
can really make a huge impact and can really make their day. Do you agree? Yes. Oh, now you're talking.